everyone, it's Judy. Um, I am here to do my, uh, it's not really a challenge, I guess. What I do is every year my mother and I do the um, Christmas shoe boxes for children around the world um, that don't normally get uh, Christmas gifts, okay? Um, you've probably seen these at Hobby Lobby. Uh, they have them selling the green shoe boxes. Um, but what I do is, um, my mom and I have put these together for the last several years in honor of my son. And, uh, last year I asked for you guys' help and I got such an outreach. We were able to send eight boxes last year instead of normally mom sends two and I send two last year we were able to send eight and I am so thrilled so I thought I'd do it again this year um you're not sending me anything you're sending it to the kids okay and what it what it is is you have to you don't have to but you'll be sending uh things that will sh fit inside a shoe box. Now, one year my mother and I got oh, soccer balls and we took the air out and inside the shoe box we put the soccer ball and a small air pump that would fit inside the shoe box. And yes, they do have small ones at Walmart. So that's always fun. You can do something like that if you like. Um, I always ask that you send like maybe toothbrushes you're not allowed to send toothpaste this year combs toys this is actually I got this at uh, Michael's and the one that keeps falling to the ground I got at Michael's these are fun uh, art kits for the kids some of them have never worked with anything like this. So that's what makes that so much fun for them. Okay, those fit inside the shoe boxes. Coloring books. Now, if you're going to send coloring book, please send crayons. <laughs> because it does, or colored pencils. Um, colored pencils, uh, the problem with those is then you also need to send a pencil sharpener. Because those aren't things that most of these kids would have. So... Um, crayons if you're going to send a coloring book. Nerf balls. These little ones fit inside a shoe box. Okay. Um, usually mom and I try and do if, if you, ugh, I'm, I'm, today's just a nervous day. So just bear with me, but I wanted to do it today because it's on my mind. We fill out these tags, and it's going to depend on what you send to us as to which uh, box we're going to check, okay? And then we pay $9 a box to ship it. See, it's $9 a box to ship it, and uh, so Mom and I do that, and um, it's a two- to four-year-old girl or boy, five- to nine-year-old, or 10 to 14 okay so you decide if you want to do a 10 to 14 you can do um, let's see there's on their <laughs> um, a flashlight things like that pens pencils notebooks rulers those would be for the 10 to 14 year olds um, and in every one of them, they do put in a gospel book, just a little booklet, kind of like this. Um, but anyway, yeah, so if you want to check out things, I will try to remember to, uh, put it on the description box, but it's called Samaritan's Purse Christmas Child, Operation Christmas Child. And if you type that into Google, you can get more ideas on things to send and not send. You cannot send candy this year. Um, 
You also, things you can include are toys, hygiene items, and school items. No candy, no toothpaste, no gum, no used. Please don't send used stuff. Um, I know it may be looking brand new, but uh, don't send new stuff. War-related items is a no-no. Seeds, any kind of food, liquids, or lotions, can't do that. Medications, vitamins, breakable items, or glass containers, and no aerosol cans. So those are the things you can't send. Now, for your, for your being giving, I am going to have for every... 10 people I that send me in stuff. Now, last year I did it per item that you sent. Now, I, it got crazy. So, I'm just going to do per person, period, per person. Each person that sends me things to put into a box, okay? And I'm going to ask for the minimum of three things. They don't have to be big. They don't have to be expensive. A lot of this you can get at the Dollar Tree. Um, but I, this is going to be the first prize. I'm not taking it all out. As you can see, I've been taking apart a wedding dress. So I have, uh, over two yards, a uh, one piece is over two yards. That was the trim. And it's all like this. It's all the beaded applique sequence. And then there's four pieces of sequence or appliques off the actual dress itself, too. There is a piece of the wedding dress, satin, for you to make flowers. There's also a, a doily, not a doily, a couple other pieces in there anyway. Um, so that is going to be the first prize winner. That's if we get uh, 10 people. Okay, if we get 20 people, wah, 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 I have four different Hampton Art stamps. Now, I know a lot of you already have these. Even if you already have them, you can always pass them on in friend mail or something to somebody that might not. So if I get 20 different people sending me stuff, that'll be the second gift. Now, I have a, another set, full set like this. So if I have 30 people send, then I'll have a, this will be the second and third prize, okay? Second prize and third prize, okay? If I get more than that, I will put together something else. So I really appreciate you guys doing this. Uh, like I said, this you're not sending me anything. Only for the kids around the world. And um, so I appreciate your help. Oh, you can also send handmade items. Like uh, my friend is, uh, she made uh, handmade dolls. She's sending to me to enter. Um, any, any, you know, that will fit into the shoe box. If you want to make something, that's great. You know, that's, that they'll treasure that. So, yeah, absolutely. Even handmade items. Just make sure that uh, you don't leave any pins or anything in it. Been there, done that. <laughs> so, you guys have a great day. God bless, and we'll see you all soon. Remember to be kind to one another. Bye-bye.